same way, the assembly that is the national assembly, the speaker of the house, has the duty to make the law for the well-being of Nigeria. And the same way for the executive to execute the law. Today, the court has already proved that one clearly. To say this matter is still within the purview of the legislator to make the law. And after you, the law has been made, then anybody can come to court. But as it is now, this is something that we need not do. And the case is so clear. Like we told the court, this is a simple case of a zookeeper complaining about the paper tiger. How the question is, how will you think paper tiger will devour, will kill a zookeeper? I don't know what it is. I think this is not this is not the kind of case to bring him before our court. And I, and finally, let me use this opportunity to thank my lord. This is the case that within two months we can fully dispense it. It is something that we need to comment and to know that our judiciary is working and that one has been put for play with this case. The fifth respondent in this case is the Inspector General of Police. Uh, the court has delivered the judgments today, and uh, the judgment is a development of law and it remains in reference. Now, on the part of uh, the fifth respondent, that is the Inspector General of Police, we argue that there is no cause of action disclosed on the, the, the process filed by the applicant. And we started Supreme Court judgment on it, and the court upheld that uh, the, 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 there is no cause of action that he has perused the process. There's no cause of action against the police. That is the Inspector General of Police, who is the fifth respondent in the case. And uh, the court struck out the name of the fifth respondent. However, having gone for that, the, the judgment, the, the judgment was also delivered in favor of the respondent, first to fifth respondent. That uh, the, 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 the matter is about the control of infectious disease uh, B 2020, which the applicant is saying that uh, the, the bill is going to be debated at the floor of the House of Representatives National Assembly. So the court opened that this bill has not been, it has not been passed to law, that uh, the, 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 the court can only uh, exercise jurisdiction on uh, the, 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 the law, on the law of the land that uh, the applicant has uh, uh, seeming that the 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 the, the, the bill is uh, uh, is likely to infringe his fundamental right, which is uh, the court. Uh, it's no that uh, that the court uh, dismissed the application. I think that is the the business of today, and uh, we commend the court for doing that. The honourable court has taken its time to deliver a well considered judgment. Uh, basically on the fact that the what the applicant seeks is to enforce his right on a bill that is not yet an act of the National Assembly. And uh, the law is very trite in such respect where you cannot enforce or ask the court to deliberate or adjudicate on a bill that is not yet an act. And by the way, how can a, how can uh, a bill confer right on obligation on a person? I believe it's quite premature at this stage and uh, shouldn't be encouraged. And such applications um, as the court has right uh, has rightly um, ruled on is, is is a mere academic exercise and should be discouraged. In the court's judgment and the reasons behind their judgment were. Um, justiciable, they were okay in our opinion. The reasonings behind the um, judgment of this court it does not relieve the particular issue we're trying to raise. It does not um, totally dismiss the issue we're trying to raise um, in this matter. And um, we need to consult with our clients and um, see what further steps we may need to take if need be. In order to be able to resolve this uh, matter finally, um, we hope that as the court has already opined, um, the bid itself will not in any way actually affect the rights of our clients or any of the citizens of this um, country. And that's, that's where we leave it for now.